As soon as we got to London and all over Europe, the taxis, they're Mercedes. That's one of the most expensive cars and here it's just like nothing. They have tr trucks, taxis, cars. Which one? Choop, choop. Like a baby? Who the heck buys this? Why are you laughing? We were saying it's like too fancy, we're gonna hang it on the tree. Oh, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> These people really do think about everything. If I had my cars, I would have got something from here. Getting a little bit sick here. Yes, I said, who the heck buys this? Well, guess what? They got me too. I bought him. I can't believe it. I don't know why they come in these little packages, but they're really expensive too. Yeah, one day. Yes, yes, yes. A car. That's a Ferrari. Oh, I like Feeling a little hungry now. I really, really like the decoration all over here. That's the reason why I wanted to come in Christmas time. Look at all those diamonds all over. Love it. And the food in Switzerland is so good. Pero es que fíjate que a mí me pasa lo mismo, fíjate que a veces con el frío, no sé, fíjate que como que no se activa el flash, como que el iPhone a veces se bloquea. No sé, fíjate que me pasó lo mismo allá en, en Alemania. No se quería. Sí, no, no quería. Right. We decide, why not? Let's just put one in every place. You're the expert on the tea. W C. Every time I get it, doesn't that mean toilet? <laughs> well, it's W C. I'm trying to think. Why would the W C mean? What does it stand for? W C is the toilet. You're right. I don't know what it, why they call it W C. W C is water. Um, Fernando, what is W C? Oh, does it actually mean water closet? Closet. What water closet? That's the toilet. So water in, in America, that's, how, that's what it stands for. And same here. Okay, yes. water closet. Oh. So there, there's an entrance to these two gates. Bags are in the cupboard, so you <laughs> just, you know, that's... That's a normal... What's tea, because it's a tea bag, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you just have oh, biscuits man, you're with the it. Best, you're the best person I could ever meet in my life, Lloyd. Where? I think they're Lloyd. Uh, I thought they looked like cameras. Imagine if a dragon, a big dragon, comes out right now. You know, like castles oh, and dragons. Amazing. Yeah. That'd be amazing. You wouldn't be scared. Like, I'd be a little. Yeah, I would be a little. I would be frightened. <laughs> I'd be really scared. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> what kind of tea do you like? Just a normal tea. Just the kind of tea bag you put in a cup and then <laughs> pour this out the milk. And I the normal tea. Else. I mean, there is a tea called builder's tea. Uh huh. That's not very nice, I do think. You don't think it's very nice? Well, what kind of tea do you drink? Grain tea. Oh. That's if you're stressed, I think. Yeah. Well, that sounds but like. No, a... usually it's. Oh, what's it called? PG Tips. That's the name of the tea brand. Uh huh. Um, Sainsbury's Basin. 
Oh, that sounds like a good tea. That's that's yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a good one. It's well, a cheap. It's a cheap tea. Yeah, Sainsbury's is a supermarket, mm -hmm. so their basic range is technically oh. their uh, which cheap, was, really cheap stuff. Which one's one of the most expensive tea in the UK? Probably. Well, M and S is probably a ex expensive supermarket. M and S. But I'm sure they do like really. Cheap. It really sucks Brie, because we're almost in Paris and I'm starting to get sick. That was the reason why I got some oranges for vitamin C. And I really, really don't want to get sick. What is this for? A basement for all the clothes of the summer that you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Look. So come in to the castle. <laughs> we met yeah, somebody from the UK. See that? That's got a new door on it. Oh, yeah. Like. That's mm -hmm. definitely either had a new door done. Mm -hmm. From TJ. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, maybe the other way goes towards the wall. Oh, look, the stairs right there. Nobody lives in this castle, but we walk so much to try to get all the way to the top. Right now is 5.45, we're meeting out the front of Harry's. Okay, so you'll have plenty of time to go and explore the tiny little town of Warsaw. The watch from the button aside, and then you can, by touching the glass, to choose the function. Yeah, which is very smart and very light. It also has solar panel. And by touching the middle back, it goes back to the time. And uh, we also have the automatic watch. It's absolutely Swiss made. Everything is hand assembled. From the back and uh, front and the back, you can see through the parts. The power will be generated by your wrist movements. It can, can be saved up to 48 hours. And uh, we also have the Swiss cards, which is like the size of a credit card. You can easily put it in your pocket or your wallet. It has 13 function for each. And of course, this classic uh, Swiss trim knife. So the red one is a classic uh, design, the like global wise. And uh, this, uh, the white one, you can only find it in Switzerland. And uh, with Havatia Simple, you can find it in Harry Shop only. And we do free engravings for all the Swiss knives with this kind of shiny, smooth covers. So like, you, you can just tell us the number of the knife and leave it here, your tour guy, Jake, will pick up later. And that's it from my side. And regarding to the discounts, if you purchase more than 100 francs, you can get 5% discounts. If you purchase more than 300 francs, you can get tax refunds right here in the shop. Thanks for your attention. And if you need toilets. What's going on there? Someone's trying to steal my jewelry. Just wait, I'll put a stop to this. Oh, no burglars at all. Good heavens. <laughs> They're the tourist group they said would arrive. I'm terribly sorry. I mean, I was so engrossed in my work. We would like to extend a warm welcome to you in the fantastic city of Lucerne, here at the historic Fistergasse at Harry's Swiss Watch Center, where we'd like to take you on a short journey through time. Oh, what? For the thermometer, all you have to do is touch the watch glass. I can assure you that's ooh, what women want. <laughs> Speaking of women, there are even more enchanting products. The Swiss Champ Knife by Victorinox, for example, features the symbol of Helvetia, the female national personification of Switzerland. It has 33 features and is only available at Harry's. By the way, the brand Victorinox was named after the mother of Carl Elsner I, Victoria.
I pick up the knife over and over again and use it for all kinds of work, but that takes nothing away from its beauty. I've been equally fascinated by Victorinox and the watch since both have coined the Swiss history. The technology and appearance of both are striking, and their time never stops. Well, it's about time you got to know the policies of our busy bunch, and if you should fall in love with a watch at first sight. I perfectly understand. This love will last for a lifetime. Oh, so I better get back to work. But they were developed in early modern times in a period of asceticism. <laughs> you look enormous. Uh, pardon me, uh, where was I? Oh yes, the diligently working craftsmen, farmers, and artists meticulously perfecting the precision of the watch. Switzerland fills entire libraries. There are famous inventors such as Abraham Louis Breguet, who conceived the Toriol in 1795, and Adrien Philippe, who invented the winding crown in 1842. We also built the first waterproof watch and the first wristwatch. I could tell you so much more about it, but then we'd still be here tomorrow. Take a look at their captivating inside instead. It will make your heart beat faster. I don't know about you guys, but something about the cars over here in Europe are so beautiful. They're so elegant. I'm starting to like more cars now. I think I want one more for my collection. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe.